Prayers of protest at a D.C. mosque. A group of women risked being arrested this weekend over the mosque's separate but unequal treatment of women. The group wants the Islamic Center of Washington to allow them to worship with men and not behind a wall. Fox 5's Sherry Lee explores the gender divide. In the main prayer hall at the Islamic Center of Washington, you won't see any women. In a rare look inside the mosque on Embassy Row last June, all you see are men. The women are behind a seven-foot partition. The barrier is a solid wood barrier. Pictures from the website Muslim Matters show the women's prayer area that some call the penalty box. Some women say you can't see or hear the imam. Over the weekend, more than a dozen Muslim women refused to pray there in an act of civil disobedience led by Fatima Thompson. They feel it's demeaning um, that we're not being represented in the community in, on an equal basis. Someone in the mosque called police who ordered them to leave. The police were actually quite sympathetic. They weren't uh, hostile or aggressive. And we got up when we were ready. I mean, they made it clear that if we absolutely refused to go, that we would be arrested, which that wouldn't have served our purpose. We called the director of the mosque to ask about the protest. A woman in the office answered the phone and said, quote, we don't have anything to say about that and hung up. In most mosques, it's a matter of privacy and modesty for women and to prevent men from being distracted. One worshiper defended the practice. In Islam, woman and the man, the unknown person, she cannot stand with the unknown person. So that's why we have separate. Two-thirds of American mosques require women use separate prayer spaces. Others allow the women in rows behind men. Thompson, who converted to Islam 18 years ago, says that's all she wants. Just because it's difficult doesn't mean it's impossible. The goal is to end gender segregation in all mosques. This what is not just do? one event. It's, it's a movement. And this protest will not be her last. In Northwest, Sherry Lee, Fox 5 News.